The Aristocraft C16 locomotive is a detailed number one gauge, 124th scale unit that is suitable both indoors and outdoors. Currently, if you get a C16 280 locomotive and tender, you'll get a free wood caboose, but this is a limited time offer. The C16 is well packaged and held in with some large green wire ties. There's a, a nice surgical kind of plastic instead of a plastic bag that will make it easy to repack the unit for storage. There is an owner's manual, a brass bell, and a brass screw-on connector for the tender. The owner's manual is detailed and gives you information, a small history of the C-16, safety information, as well as information on the tender, the smoke, and how to maintain your unit. There's two things you'll need to do to get your engine ready. You need to attach the brass tubing to the tender. This is where you'll connect the engine. It's nice to have something that's brass and not just a piece of molded plastic that can snap off. And then just push in the bell. You can glue this if you like. Connecting the tender to the locomotive is a two-step process. You connect in the push-in wires and then attach the bar into the brass tube that you've attached to the tender. This is a high quality and very detailed unit. The C-16 steam locomotive was originally built by two manufacturers. The first locomotives were built by the Grant Locomotive Works in New Jersey and the remaining built by Baldwin Locomotive for the Denver and Rio Grande during the 1880s. Some of these locomotives were eventually sold to other railroads including a few that were converted to standard gauge. Three of the C-16 series locomotives survive today in museums in Utah and Colorado. As you can see in the video, the unit is highly detailed, except inside the cab. Here you might have the ability to maybe print out a small gauge and add it to the inside or add any other details that might interest you. The tender is also detailed and comes in two different styles. When you order your C16, you can get the model as a wood burner or a coal burner depending on the road name that you order. The tender is installed with standard Aristocraft knuckle couplers and has the connector ready if you run on battery power. On the bottom of the tender is where you'll find the switches that control the unit. There's a switch for the smoke unit, and there's a little tab here to remind you to only put six or seven drops in, the light switch, switching between track and battery, and turning the motor on and off. In order to reach the speaker and PC board, it's necessary to separate the underframe from the body of the tender. The body shell is secured to the underframe with four Phillips-type screws located on the underframe of the tender next to the body bolsters. Be careful when you unscrew these to not pull it up immediately because the brake wheel is attached to the bottom and you'll break off that little plastic piece at top unless you're careful. Just wiggle the metal rod, it'll come out and then you can easily lift the top. Inside you will find a, a hefty speaker for installing a sound system as well as a PC board. Now this loco is equipped with a DCC RCC dummy plug and port. After purchasing the control system of your choice, you can read the instructions carefully, remove the dummy plug, and insert your DCC RCC plug in its place. And there's plugs in case you use the Aristocraft Tain Engineer or other type of products for you to be able to easily add your remote control and sound systems. Let's take a look and see how the C16 unit runs. We found that it had a nice, slow startup and was very, very quiet.
When you add your smoke fluid, make sure you remove the stack. Don't try to put it down the stack. It's a long way down. Make sure you add six or seven drops, put the stack back on, and you're ready to go. Also make sure that you've got that switch on the tender set that the smoke is on. I tell you one thing about Aristocraft products, the smoke units work great, and the C16 is no exception. The front of our unit had a, a large light and inside is just a regular grain of wheat bulb. There's no LED here. It gives a, a glow and provides adequate lighting. The classification lights at the front of the engine are also lit. They use a red and green crystal. Classification lights though should either be white if the train is running as an extra or if the unit was running as a section of a scheduled train, then the light should be green. This is probably a throwback to the day of Lionel when they used incorrect colors in their classification light. For a limited time, the C16 is coming with a free caboose. So let's take a look at that too. This is an Aristocraft Classic 124 scale wood caboose. This is a nice little add-on to your C16. One great feature about it is the unit actually comes with metal wheels because it's lighted. The unit is simply detailed and many of the pieces are one molded piece like the chain and the wheel and the ladder, but you really can't see from a distance and it, and it looks very nice. It comes with standard Aristocraft couplers as well as nicely detailed painting and appropriate road name and number information for the model that you select. Like I said, metal wheels are a bonus and that's because the unit has lights inside and looks great running at night. Let's go ahead and take our C16 and caboose out onto our test track and take a look at it running. We found that we had smooth starts and smooth stops, that the smoke unit worked very, very well. Now keep in mind this is a 124 scale model and not the usual Aristocraft 129th scale. So if you're looking to get box cars or rolling stock, take a look at the Aristocraft Classic line to match these units. 